right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Thursday, March 21st. It is set by Paul. I had a terrible showing yesterday, so <laughs> I'm not too confident, but let's see what we have. One across. Trader, righteous, liberal. Uh, could it be a triple definition? I'm trying to think of short words. I suppose liberal could just be lib, but if that's the end of the word play, I can't think of a trader that ends L-I-B. Um, righteous, pious, maybe? Yeah, not saying that. Uh, we'll try the downs. Cross first of roads. Pay, passed round by driver. A cross could be X, but that wouldn't start the wordplay. Um, so maybe it means cross. First of roads could be an R. Passed round might just be then an O. Then a four-letter driver, and it means cross. Of course, which uh, could be cross as in angry. No. Uh, mention hospital with nothing in till. Um, hospital is usually H. Nothing could be an O. And that could be put inside a word meaning till. Now, is it a money till? Or is it until so it would be a six letter word excuse me for mention beginning with h um oh well of course the hospital and the the h and the o could both be inside of till no i'm not saying it a uh, selection of player Hearts, for example, trumps. Uh, hearts would be H, maybe two H's. For example, E.G. And then trumps. I don't know if that's a wordplay, like indicating where the letters go. Um, but could also be a reference to a certain uh, family. Um, but then if selection of player is the definition, what would that be? Like getting selected for a team? Or in a video game where you select your player? Uh, no, not saying it. I'll do one more down before going back to the acrosses. Something for the ballroom. S apostrophe, which is very suspicious. Neither red nor green by the sound of it. Uh, so there's obviously going to be a homophone. Neither red nor green. Ah, so of course, traffic lights, red, green, and amber. And I suppose if you're English, you might pronounce amber as amber. Uh, again, I file my protest at this rhotic R. Not a homophone in, to my ear. Anyway, a samba. So, yeah, that S was just sticking out there. That had to be the start of the word. S plus Amba makes something for the ballroom. Uh, so now this ends in S, but I'm guessing it's not a plural word. So it might end in double S, E double S. That would mean three down would begin with an E. Hearts, for example, trumps. No, not seeing it. All right, let's go back to the 
Um, oh, I never looked at five across. Leave in order to get drink. Um, well, I wonder if it could be an anagram of leave in and you have to order those letters to get a drink. Let me pause and work out on a piece of paper if that is an anagram. No, the only thing I found was ale vine. Ale being a drink and vine providing material for a drink. But I don't think that's a word. So now I'm thinking a word for leave, which could be go. And then something in order. Oh, maybe that goes inside a word for order. And that's going to give us the drink. So I think we need some letters for that. Unknown number in a wood together. Well, unknown number is usually X, Y, or Z. And then I wonder if it goes inside a type of wood. I also think that A is a little suspicious. So it might be A and then a three letter wood like oak or elm with our X, Y, and Z, our Z, and that's going to mean together. Um, I'm not seeing. Yeah. Um, as oak, X, elm. No, don't see that. All right, let's keep going. This is tough. Element in the language of comics. At least we have the uh, the M. I wonder if it is a chemical element. And somehow it sounds like. Now, is this comics as in the Beano or Viz? Or is it comics as in um, Bernard Manning or um, uh, Tommy Tiernan, who, who could it be? Um, let me pause and look up chemical elements beginning with M. Yes, that was it. Um, I saw there was an element manga knees. And I know manga is a type of a Japanese comic book. Graphic novel, whatever you want to call it. And so it's making a little joke that manganese might be the language spoken in manga. All right, that's a good one to get. Is that going to help us now with these downs? Money available. I agree. Time for booty. Uh, so I wonder if it could be a word meaning booty. And the wordplay is going to be something uh, money available. I don't know what that would be, especially with that N. Something like cash, though, maybe. And I agree. I think it's going to be I. I nod or something. I something and then T for time at the end. And the whole thing is going to mean booty. Uh, but which which meaning of booty? Otherwise, it could be money. But no, I'm not seeing it. How about that in rays? That's uh, maybe we need to solve five down before that's going to make sense. Dislike a transcript. Again, I'm wondering about that A, if we just have to actually start with A and then a word for transcript to get something that means dislike. Oh, and dislike, I think here is probably going to be a noun. What 
what's, what's another word for a transcript? Uh, but what if that was an A? Aversion. Ah, yes, is dislike. And I suppose a transcript version. Hmm, not sure about that, but I feel fairly confident. Ooh, this one looks juicy. Say I to I agree seeing this. Oh, well, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, say tells us it's probably going to be a homophone. And if we read out I to I, we can see that means agree with somebody when you see I to I. Now, oh, well, it gives us um, a Y at the end of 14, so that might be helpful. Oh, let's look at 12. Um, capital, well, I'm immediately thinking of a capital city. And again, it's giving us the first letter, the O. And then it says Vacchia or Venia. And both of those, if you put S-L-O in front of them, are countries. And so we get Oslo. That's a very easy clue, I think, for a Thursday. So thank you, Paul, for that. Uh, let's see. Let's try this 14. Create, bruise, and make money in genteel tradition. Uh, so... Yeah, there can't be too many eight-letter words. Well, I suppose all the ology words. Uh, so I wonder if it's going to mean genteel tradition. But, um, but then again, it might be create brews. No, or it could be create uh, bruise might be an anagram indicator, but make money. No, I'm not seeing it. Oh, I skipped over reject or oh, reject. Yeah, no, reject. Imbued with spirit. Certainly foreign secretary. Only popular abroad. Only popular abroad. Now, do I need to know a foreign secretary? Uh, the name Jack Straw comes to mind. So something, something of straw, but only popular abroad. Man of straw. Uh, reject, I think, means reverse some word. And is that going to be imbued? Is a word for imbued is reversed? Hmm. No, it's not going to be straw because A is the second. Who's the current foreign? Oh, didn't uh, Cameron come back? Um, I think he is back. But I'm uh, not seeing that one. All right, let's try old pet's ears given a spraying to get ticks off. So I think the definition is going to be ticks off as in annoys or irritates. Um, could it be? An anagram of old pet's ears, given a spraying, I suppose, yes, if you spray the letters around, that could be to anagram them. And uh, so it's going to end in S, I think, because it's ticks off. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing the anagram. Let me pause and uh, work it out on paper.
Well, I wasn't getting very far with an anagram of old pet's ears. So then I looked at synonyms of irritate and I saw exasperate and I realized, oh, of course, X is old. And then we anagram um, pet's ears. Uh, but that only has one A, so it has to be given A. And that also gets us to 11 letters. All right, well, that's a, a good one to get, although the letters aren't terribly helpful, apart from maybe that P in three down. Um, yeah, so I'm not seeing that yet. Uh, let's try... Oh, here we have to solve 11 across first. Not half enormous wobbles. So I think we're going to take half of enormous and anagram it. And it's going to be very, but I've not ever 11 across is. Maybe we can work our way backwards uh, to 11 across. Is it just simply going to be the first half or the second half? Or just pick four letters? No, uh, we need more for that. Speeding bullet finds leg bone. Anne's knee initially shattered. Wow, so... <laughs> Um, I have no idea what that is. Projectile? Maybe a speeding bullet? Projectile is ten letters. But I think it's going to have a K in it, knee initially. And then, yeah, I think shattered maybe is going to be an anagram of is it a specific leg bone or just the letters of leg bone? No, don't get it. Shooters spilled noodle bowl and out something. So I think it's going to be like out ran something, out fell, out came. Oh, could it be, uh, I was going to say, yeah, camembert, out came, <laughs> no. But I think it might start with C-A-M-E, but shooters spilled. No. Drawn features, some Trojan, I'm exhausted. Well, the some makes it sound like it's a hidden clue. And to go with our manganese above, I think it's anime. So drawn feature films, I suppose. Anime. That's good. Maybe there's a theme of uh, comics, graphic novels. Oh, sorry, I went too far. I, I try not to look at the comments here, but as usual, I didn't see any theme, so maybe there isn't one. Uh, Tinny isn't kicked about with can. So I wonder if it's um, a word meaning tinny, and we're going to anagram I-S-N-T, is it going to be literally with C-A-N, or it could be with T-I-N, but that's going to give us two lot of T-I-Ns. Tintins. Stephen Tintin Duffy, maybe. Um, yeah, so Tinny. Now, tinny, I think of a sound that's maybe a little unpleasant, uh, shrill, uh, cacophony, but it might be um, being sort of punny and saying something like a tin is tinny. 
just like something like a stick is sticky. Uh, no, I think we're going to need some letters for that. Drink wine in which tannin originally flagged. Uh, so I wonder if it's going to be another drink. And then a wine, which could be wine itself, or red, or white, or cab. Tannin originally, I think, is just going to be the letter T. And then flagged might be tired or slowed. No, not seeing it. All right, let's go back to the downs. Cool river beyond which a castle built. Cool can be in. And so then I'm thinking the definition is going to be built. Built in what sense, though? Um, and then river might be I-N followed by a river. Oh, what's a river with S as the second? Uh, and then after that, either castle, a word for castle, or a castle. Oh, I think castle in chess is a rook, which would be an R. Well, I have lots of possibilities, but no answer. Yeah, not seeing it. Okay, let's try Druze Say. When I think of the Druze Militia with Aramaic, case of both, needing translation. Oh, Druze Say, <coughs> excuse me, could also be a homophone. Now, case of both, is it referring back to Trues and Aramaic, or is it the case of both are the B and the H that are the outer letters? Although B, H don't go well together. Um, needing a translation. No, I'm not seeing it. Um, oh, <laughs> Bottom smacks, warming couple at night. That's a little cheeky. Bottom smacks. Warming couple. Oh, I wonder if it's um, two things that you that might keep you warm at night. So that's a warming couple at night. And I'm thinking of Bed socks, ah yes, and a bed of a river is the bottom, and smacks could be socks. So thank goodness, finally got another one, and it gives us some starting letters, hallelujah. Uh, let's finish the downs first. Musical for crying out loud. Well, when I see musical now, I'm, I'm always looking to see if it's the name of a musical. Oh, and of course it is Mama, oops, Mama Mia, for crying out loud. Those have some very good uh, letters here. Godzilla's sister bites back. Wow, what is the definition here is does Godzilla have a sister in the Godzilla films I'm not aware of that I'll have to maybe there is a isn't there one Gojira or something like that um yeah let me pause and look up Gojira well Gojira is the alternative name for Godzilla so that's where I was thinking of that 
I see he had some children, Godzilla Jr. and Minilla, but I'm not seeing any uh, sister. Um, yeah, Mothra, Rodan, other monsters. Um, so not, really not sure what that is going to be all about. Bites back suggests some word. And so maybe actually sister, sister bites back might mean that sister goes inside of a word for back, or it is uh, reversed. But the the I is in an unusual or uncooperative place for for the sis to be at the end sister bites yeah um not sure about that all right mean gamers out of bounds oh, i think it's uh going to be a word that means mean but that could be mean as in meaning or mean as in average median mean um or mean as in not kind gamers out of bounds who um i'm thinking of cricket isn't a six when you hit it out of bounds so sixers well that's also uh cub scouts i think are sixers no, I'm not saying it. Covert, operator in unit, measuring energy aboard old Spanish ship. Wow, there's an awful lot in that one. I think covert operator must go together because otherwise we're having to find little words for both of them. Covert operator, of course, could be a mole spy in unit or oh, in unit measuring energy yikes um so is that a watch or an amp aboard old spanish ship maybe it's going to mean an old spanish ship no a relation in Ulysses somewhat lacking. Well, I'm ashamed to admit I haven't read Choices Ulysses. Ulysses um, are the original. Um, is it just a hidden clue within Ulysses somewhat? No, I don't think so. All right, let's look at these... Uh, Acrosses, of course, this one we really need to know 11 across first, but I'm thinking, oh, it could be, um, sumo would be a very nice answer because it would actually be an and lit because not half enormous wobbles are something you might see at a sumo match. Otherwise, it might just be some. But I like sumo. All right, we're almost at the 30 minute mark, so I'm going to go ahead and check this. It is correct. So then that may help us with 11. Um, now we're, oh, oh, I did think it was going to start with came. Oh, it could be come, maybe, shoot, but I think came would suit the tense. Shooters spilled noodle bowl. And out came, oh, what you have in a noodle bowl. I'm going to put in my camembert and check it. No, so... Um, camel meat, um, uh, 
out came Kamikaze Shooters. Yeah, I'm not uh, seeing that at all. Uh, now this one, uh, so maybe it is, uh, isn't, and can, because we have an A. So let's use the anagram helper, isn't, can. And it's going to mean tinny. No, I'm not seeing a uh... no Stanson. That's about the closest. Um... No, I'm not seeing that one at all. I'm wondering though, maybe staticky. Not really tinny though. Um, relation. Yeah, is it going to just be. Well, what relations have four letters and. Ulysses somewhat lacking. No, not uh, seeing that. All right, let's try that 11, knowing that uh, Sumo is very 11 across. Reject, imbued with spirit, certainly foreign secretary, only popular abroad. Yeah, let me pause and look up the current foreign secretary yes it is david cameron uh, i don't realize foreign secretary isn't capitalized so that may be just trying to put us off maybe certainly foreign and secretary only popular abroad i do want it to be out of out of something Yeah, not seeing it. All right, let me pause and uh, sip my water and have a think on these. All right, I took a look at uh, Five Down. Wasn't thinking of anything, so I had to resort to wordplays.com. A lot of words uh, meet this letter pattern, but I saw fundament and I thought, oh, a fundament is the bottom. So jokingly, that could be booty money available as a fund i agree is amen and time is that final t all right so that f now should be helpful for leave in order to get drink so i still think it's going to be a drink but um what drink begins with an F? Let me pause again. Ah, I actually had it the wrong way around. I thought it was going to be putting a word for leave inside a word for order to get a drink. But it's actually, the word is leave. And in order is for. I did it in order to achieve some object or for some object. And the drink is sake, but then for sake. Oh my goodness. Now, uh, so, of course, booty, saying that in a word for raise. Well, if you raise somebody, you rear them, and your rear can be your booty. All right. Now our foreign secretary. Ooh, reject. Imbued with spirit, certainly foreign secretary, only popular 
abroad. I want it to be something, something salad, but then it has to somehow sumo is very 11 across. Oh, I have no idea what this is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give up on this one. Big in Japan. Oh, of course, I should have thought of that phrase. Uh, would be applied to bands that weren't popular at home and they would brag they were big in Japan and so then it became a bit of a sort of mocking term. And then there was a band called Big in Japan, I remember. All right, so what is reject? Um, imbued with spirit, I think, means that gin is inside it. Certainly foreign is yeah. So then, um, secretary. Ugh. Oh, yeah, I don't get the re reject. Then would be B I P. No, I don't see that. We're going to have to rely on 15 squared to explain that one. Now, that B should be helpful. Cross first of roads, passed round by driver. Now, I'm not seeing it either. Now, let me pause and think about it. Uh, it is a word for cross, um, as in being uh, short-tempered. And first of roads is the R, but past round, here round is just part of the uh, word play to say that a word for driver goes around that R. And that is a cabbie, and so you get crabby. Oh my goodness. Now my trader, righteous liberal is it a famous maybe member of the liberal party is part of the wordplay or maybe is the answer well, what would a traitor be no i'm going to give up on that one copious is liberal okay traitor righteous oh righteous is pious i think trader is simply company shortened to co wow that's um that's very um cryptic uh, to say the least oh i uh, maybe there's more to it than that but that's what i'm thinking we'll see what 15 squared has to say about that now our mention hospital with nothing in till. Um, I think again is going to mean mention. And hospital with nothing. So I think HO is going to be in there somewhere. P-H-O. No, I'm going to reveal it. Plow. Oh, till as in a, a farming implement. Okay. So then, let's see. What is mention hospital with nothing? Oh, I think mention is plug oh that's um again just such a vague word mention to me plug is very much more specific where you're promoting something i think if it had been promote hospital with nothing until i think it might have been a little easier for us uh, but then we do put nothing in put the o inside plug h and we get a tail a plow oh. 
All right, this is looking like it is um, a an unknown number in a wood. Let me pause and think about what other three-letter woods there are. Well, the only thing I can think of is a log could be a piece of wood, and if the unknown number might be N, and then we would get along. We went together. I went along. Let's check it. It is right. Wow. Yeah, I was sure the unknown number was going to be X, Y, Z, but then it occurred to me. As I was thinking what letters could come in second place, and when I got to L, I thought of along. All right, now. Oh, my goodness. What is that word? <laughs> O-G-N. There can't be too many words here. <laughs> yeah. I'm just blanking on O something G something N. Is it somebody's name? Uh, let me pause. Oh, of course, organ. I had to go through the alphabet again to get organ selection of player. Hearts, for example, trumps. Uh, hearts, for example, I think are organs. And then trumps, I think is, um, yeah, to beat somebody, or to, oh, to top. Ah, yes. And so on a, a church organ, you pull out the stops, I think, to get different voices or different, um, maybe different volumes. And so I think the phrase pulling out all the stops it means you're going for broke. You're pulling out everything on the organ. All right. Whew. That one took me a long time. Oh, I'm wondering if this could be a tea something, tea ceremony, in which case in is wrong. So, but let's try tea ceremony, um, create brews, um, I can see we have an anagram of money at the end. And so it might be an and lit that the wordplay also contains the definition of create brews. Ah, yes, so create is anagrammed for the first six letters. And then we have an anagram of money. Let's just check it to be sure it is correct. Oh, so now this is going to... Um, cool river beyond which a castle built is going to be D, D S. Oh, to cool a, uh, a conflict would be to de-escalate. Um, and so the river is the D, beyond which a castle is anagrammed. Ooh. All right. Well, I think I'm saving myself with a few late uh, solves here, but <laughs> it's been so painful. <laughs> you really need to watch an expert like uh, the cryptic mystic to see how it should be done properly. All right, Druze say with Aramaic, case of both needing translation. Uh, um, might start with AC being the case of Aramaic, and then something for both. No, I'm going to go ahead and reveal this one. Uh, Abrahamic. So I presume the Druze are an Abrahamic peoples. Um, and the, maybe the Aramaic case, the 
Oh, it, oh, we do actually have an anagram of Aramaic and the outside letters, the B and the H of both. And if you anagram those nine letters together or translate them, you get Abrahamic, 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 I think. All right, now our speeding bullet finds leg bone, hands knee initially shattered. So maybe it just means speeding. I think the shattered is going to be an anagram indicator for whatever fodder we get with our bullet, a leg bone, and maybe Anne's is in there. Can I think of a 10 letter word for speeding? No, I cannot. Let's reveal it. Oh, I have no idea what that means. Let me uh, pause and look it up. All right. Well, um, it is apparently the high rail or the bullet train. So it is a speeding bullet in Japan is the train, the Shinkansen. Good Lord. And so it is an anagram of Anne's with knee. Oh, the leg bone, of course, is the shin. Ah, yeah, so there is a Japanese theme today with uh, sake used in the wordplay, manga used in the wordplay, big in Japan, tea ceremony. <laughs> that reminds me, just a, a helpful warning to anyone who might go. Um, I think it was my friend was in uh, Shanghai, um, and some people, young students, came up to him in the street and said they wanted to practice his Eng their English with him. And would they mind if he went with them to a tea house? And he, very friendly guy, wanted to help them, went along. And then he gets stiffed with the uh, bill for this uh, tea at the tea house. So it is apparently a well-known um ruse that is used on innocent tourists so if you are in asia and people come up and say they want to go drink tea with you to learn english uh, just be a little cautious all right so then um oh an anime of course and sumo were japanese what else do we have that might be japanese i don't see any others but let's um Bear that in mind as we look at now our shooters. Well, the noodle bowl, of course. I'm thinking it's going to be some uh, dish with noodles that I just do not know, so I'm going to reveal it. He, uh, I've heard of ramen, so that would explain. Oh, of course it's not. I'm reading it as came ramen or came ramen. It's cameramen. They are shooters. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but the playful definition is that if you spilled a noodle bowl, out came ramen. Ah, oh, very tricky. Now our tinny isn't kicked about with can. Yeah, I'm thinking it's still maybe something like, um, well, I'm not sure I'm going to reveal it. Stanic. Oh, I don't know that word, but maybe it means having a tinny flavor. Let me check that. Yes, the Latin for tin is stanum, and that's why the chemical symbol is S-N. So I was right about it being an anagram of isn't can. I just could not recognize the word. All right, now our relation in Ulysses somewhat lacking. Um, I'm just wondering if it could be iron. You can be lacking in iron, but otherwise I have no idea. Let's check it. No, let's reveal it. A gran. Oh, so I don't know, maybe there is a grandmother in Joyce's Ulysses. There's a relation. Or uh, maybe it is something to do with 
a Greek hero and you start with one word and you take away something else? No, I don't get it. A covert operator in unit measuring energy aboard old Spanish ship. Well, I can just think of the Nina and the Saint uh, Pinta and the Santa Maria. Could it be Nina's? Let's check it. No, reveal it. Ah, and I, so back to the Japanese theme. A covert operator is a ninja. In unit, measuring energy. Oh, I think that's the J for jewels. And it is aboard the Nina. Ah, okay. All right. Um, top half is done. Godzilla's sister. So here's the Japanese theme again. Bites back. Sister bites back. Oh, I'm thinking that back. Ah, yes, it is a hidden clue within Godzilla's sister. So you take some bites of that. And you get a word if you back somebody, you assist them. I'm not sure that really works as a synonym, but I think I've seen them use something like that before. And now our mean gamers out of bounds. Um, mean. I'm going to say intend is to mean... Oh, and um, Nintendo, if you put, if you remove the outer letters, so the gamers out, I suppose the outer letters are, well, I'm not exactly sure I follow it, but I think it's right. It is. And so the last one now is drink wine, in which Tannen originally, uh, so I think it's going to be Flagged is going to be the definition. Is it? Um, I think there's the tannin originally. A wine could be a red. Alerted would be flagged. Uh, the drink is ale and then the red wine in with the tea. Oh my goodness, I made a meal out of that, didn't I? Let's check all. Confirm. It's all right. All right, let's go over to 15 squared. All right, today's blog is by Andrew. I seem not to be on Paul's wavelength today, finding this quite hard. Yeah, I would agree with that. Obvious theme of things that are big in Japan, yeah. Yeah, so I just wanted to check. They seem to have no issue with... A trader being a company, I suppose they do trade, but uh, quite difficult. Not sure if there are any of the other crosses. I um, didn't understand. Yeah, I think all of these were fine. I think the only down then I wanted to look at was Oh my goodness, so it's the Ulysses S. Grant. So uh, there's no specific, I think, things being taken away, just that it doesn't, Grant doesn't finish. So it's just Gran. Well, let's see what the commenters found this quite hard. Uh, Jeff, who we see quite often, abandoned yesterday's and had to do it again today. Yeah, don't blame him. I think I would have too if I wasn't making this video. Um, anyway, uh, two tough puzzles in two days. All right, and a lot of words that we uh, haven't seen before. All right, <laughs> I still can't get over, I couldn't. Uh, parse cameraman at first. There's KVA. Who? KVA, who we trust because they always seem to understand, is questioning the definition of Mamma Mia. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, I think it's fine, but uh, KVA knows a lot more about these than I do. All right, well, thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.